What is going on everyone? Chris with Journals, Comics, and Pop Culture. You might be wondering what it is that you guys are looking at right now, but on the other side of this door is where all the magic happens. And folks, this is my 2022 comic book room tour that features over 25,000 comic books. And this is my first room tour in over two years. So how about we just open this door and get right into it, folks. Here we go. Guys, I've told you all it's been coming and the day is finally here. This is the Journos Comics and Pop Culture Comic Book Cave. Folks, it's been a long time coming. Thank you guys so much for your wait. I did the best that I could to clean up in here, but we're going to go over everything one by one. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, please take some time to do so. I'm here making content almost every single day of the week. And let's just go uh, into everything that we have in this room, all right? So this is my garage, uh, or at least part of it. Uh, if you go back out this door that we came in, there's a door that leads into the home, and there's still a little bit of the garage over here that still has the laundry room, tools, and everything. But this is the door that enters the awesome room. And uh, this time around, guys, I want to start on my Star Wars wall. This is the Star Wars wall right here. You guys can see that there are Star Wars posters of every episode from the prequels to the originals. There's R2. There's R2-D2 to the sequel trilogy, like it or not. And of course, on top, we have a whole bunch of Star Wars toys and Campbell's soups. Anything and everything Star Wars. The Star Wars clock. Star Wars figures. And then, oh, we got the Star Wars dart board and the Kylo Ren mask. We also have some Star Wars figures down here. We got the Star Wars treasury right here and this nice wrinkly uh, bags, some more Star Wars stuff. Uh, the one thing that's not Star Wars on this wall, uh, the Black Panther, this is me, variant comic book. So pretty awesome. I do want to come over here to this wall. Let's showcase. We got my Mike Zek signed 11 by 17 Secret Wars number eight print signature right there. And these are Mandy Wheeler autograph prints given to me by none other than omg chris who was an amazing member of this community bless his soul rest in peace he is a big part of my channel and always will be here we got some uh start more star wars action figures we got the talking yoda up there there's kylo these are actually the, uh, for that, what, what, oh, should I forget what the game's called? It's the Disney game. You put the figures and you play them. Uh, Disney Infinity or something like that. I got my old DuckTales lunchbox from when I was a kid. First appearance of Jenica in costume. Big shout out to DMAC art. Awesome print, uh, or art piece of, uh, Tupac right there. Graphic novels figures. I got my original um, Empire Strikes Back VHS and then the uh, the 20 year anniversary special editions. Look at this. I got the Transformer, Back to the Future mashup. We got comics. There's comic books everywhere. There's supplies on the shelf. There's comic books everywhere in this room. I'm not going to go through every single box, guys. This is uh, this is where the magic actually really happens when I film my videos. Here's the couch that everything happens on. You guys can see my setup. I got comic books behind there. There's my two uh, main lights. We got the TV going. You guys can guess what uh, what movie we got going on in the TV right now. And then uh, down here, I want to show you guys. I got my retro games. We got 
uh, n n NES games, Super NES games, Sega games. I got Atari games somewhere. I think that's uh, in my other room, though. And then we got this little cool device right here that actually plays regular NES, Super NES, and Sega games. And you just hook it up to the TV via RCA, and boom. So let's show off the... Uh, the posters. So top row is MCU. Starting with Iron Man. Some of my favorites here. Winter Soldier. Guardians Volume 1. Spider-Man Homecoming. Ragnarok. Black Panther. These are all in order that they came out. Infinity War and Endgame. No Way Home. Sick Moon Knight poster. And Thor Love and Thunder. Down here we have some classics. Well, we have the Rogue One. I hope to fit that on my Star Wars wall someday. Trying to get the glare of the lights out of here. We got E.T. Raiders of the Lost Art. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Back to the Future. Dark Knight Rises and Wonder Woman. Over here we have more Star Wars. And then the awesome curtains that my mom made me. <laughs> From Marvel. Uh, with the Marvel comic print. This, this door leads to the outside, obviously. Here we have my pressing station, guys. This Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles came from a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles magazine from the 80s. More DMAC art prints. Uh, my pressing station, two presses, 15 by 15 clamshell presses. I do not recommend swing arms. I absolutely recommend clamshells. Um, over here is more of the pressing station. This box right here has books to press. I got my, my, uh, my steamer and so forth. Over here, we got the tack iron right in there, tack iron. So that's where all the books get pressed. And random stuff going on on the couches, guys. These are a couple of collect parts of a couple collections that I picked up that I just, I'm trying to sort through. This is a pretty new one. Anybody need a Dazzler number one? I got like 20 copies, I think. Anybody need a Logan's Run number five? I got like eight copies, something like that. Some Logan's Run number one. <laughs> Lots of goodies in there for sure. Lots of Spidey stuff here. Uh, in here, getting ready for my uh, part two of my Spider-Man sale on Whatnot. Guys, I am on Whatnot. I'm, I have a lot of big sales planned. If you guys are not on Whatnot or haven't downloaded the app, there's a link in my description here. Uh, there's some original artwork by myself. Uh, check out that description. And you could uh, hit that link to the Whatnot app. Download the app from that link, sign up and save $10 off of your first purchase. That purchase does not need to be for me. It could be from anyone on the WhatNot app. This is my Transformer wall, guys. Lots of the 30th anniversary Transformer figures. A big shout out to one of the greatest members of this community, Simon R. Simon, if you're watching this. Uh, this is a new new edition. This is my Voltron shelf um, with my little Voltron pop. But then we got the Voltron 1984 Lions that transform and connect. I believe I had one of them. And I showed it off in one of my videos. I, it might have been my last room tour video. And Simon uh, just sent me every other lion as a gift. And Simon, I am forever grateful of that gesture. And that's why they have this special wall, uh, special shelf right here. So let's actually go ahead and uh, walk around. I'll show you guys more of the comic books. I mean, we got, these are just comic books that I haven't processed yet. And uh, here's some slabs. We can look at some slabs. I think these are all my Spidey slabs. Got some magazines in here. Agents of Atlas 9.8. Yeah, all this is my Spidey stuff right here. I love, I mean, I'm not too big on slabs, guys, but I'm all about First Appearance of Shocker. Getting my uh, Spidey book slabbed up. A lot of goodies, goodies. This is, this is like, this box right here is one of my most prized possessions I think in my collection so very grateful 
and fortunate for all of these books. Some of them were um, from my collection when I was a kid. Some of the original books that I bought off the shelf. Anyways, moving on from that, we're going to go over here. These are special Mod Podge boxes that I made myself. I just did some cutouts from, no, not comic books. <laughs> I actually cut out previews books. I got my Star Wars uh, Marvel Volume 1 run. There's the reap there's a facsimile of the reprint, and there's another, no, no, oh, there's a facsimile. This is the uh, original, first print. Uh, let's see, we got some Transformers in here, Ninja Turtles. I, this is the uh, fifth print. I believe I have the third print as well. Or is it the fourth print? I forget off the top of my head. Uh, this is my entire complete run of Spectacular Spider-Man. We got some magazines down here. I got my complete entire run of Thor. Every I got Journey into Mysteries in here too. But uh, it starts at once you get to Thor, where is my 126? 126 right there so from 126 to 4 whatever it ends at complete run of thor there's some spidey goodness first john ramita uh let's see we got some superman action comics down here we have my amazing spider-man volume one that is not an amazing that's a facsimile <laughs> But uh, starting with the you know my earliest Silver Age books, it's kind of tight. I'm not going to go in there, but uh, so a lot of this, I mean, as my collection built, this is all DC Rebirth stuff. This chair too, a couple things. So this chair, I was originally supposed to do my videos from this chair sitting right here with the setup over here, but that never happened. Because my internet sucks. And I could do like recorded videos, but because I would have to move my whole setup, it ended up working out better anyways because there's more room over here. There used to be more room over here until I kept adding comic books, right? So let's move over here. These are all books. These are for my PC right here that just haven't been organized, like, you know, put into the, the runs in alphabetical order. So I'm just, this shows how behind I am. And that's why if you guys watch, go check out that video. Uh, I, I am selling off some of my personal collection as well as everything I have for, for sale inventory. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, we just got, I mean, there's so much random stuff everywhere. This is a, a box of um, key books right here. Some more amazing Spider-Mans. There, I'm telling, like I said, it's just it's it's all over the all over the place. Some of my Thor keys. My uh, Hulk 182 with the Wolverine cameo. FF 49, 50. So, lots of good stuff here. Here's some more slabs. My non non spidey slabs. Oh, this is actually uh this book right here is a it, it, Peter if you're watching this, I know. I reached out to you, you gave me your address. Life's been busy, but this is yours, Peter, and it, it needs to get to the post office. I'm sorry for procrastinating. Sometimes it's tough for me. But uh where is I want to show you guys one of my uh, more special books. There's my Cap 100. Got some EGS beauties in here. Big shout out to EGS. Chadwick Boseman tribute. But I want to show you. There it is. There's the first appearance of Silver Surfer and Cameo of Galactus. Now, let's look at this unit right here, guys. I gave you a bit of a bird's eye view earlier. I built this unit right here by myself. Man, it's been it's been seven years now since since my dad and I built this room in here in the garage. I can't believe it's been seven years. So 
I did uh, this bottom piece for it to fit long boxes. So uh, the tops are a little bigger because I use the extra space uh, for supplies. If you guys could see, I have, I know it may look a little messy, but it's, I, I know where stuff is. But then everything else is a cubby, is a perfect cubby uh, that fits the long boxes. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, uh, nine times two is 18. There's 18 cubbies. So 18 long boxes. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine more. So there's 27 long boxes in this, uh, unit right here. And then I put the little standard bookshelf type, uh, unit on top. We got some pops, action figures, lunch boxes, Big shout out to Matilda Gothica, all the way from Israel, who did this uh, portrait of me. Matilda, you are awesome. I am forever grateful. That's why it's it's uh, never coming down. She also did this journal's comments of pop culture Spidey. I know you guys can't really see it. Anyways, lots of goodies. Here's more Star Wars stuff. And then, yeah, the desk, guys, the desk. It's always, well, I mean, I always got stuff going on. Uh, guys, look at my, like, what is this, 20-something uh, Battlestar Galactica number ones that I got in a collection. If you guys need one, let me know. I just recently picked up a collection with another, like, 40. Uh, it was a, a, somebody from an old uh, shop that had inventory from a shop. And they're all in really mostly high grade. It's amazing. Those books have been hot lately. Um... Random books, I you know, these books back here need to be pressed. These need to be bagged and boarded. Uh, these are for sale. I'm getting these ready for my sale, right? My next Spider Man sale, right there. Second full appearance of the Punisher. This is a blank spawn variant uh, artwork that my son did. Amazing work. Runs in the family. Got some more Star Wars figures everywhere. Star Trek. And then Transformers. And I even have posters on the wall. Who remembers this Infinity War poster that came out in the early 90s? Was it in a... I forget what was it in. It may have been in a Wizard magazine. Coming down, coming down. Let's look at the tra more of the Transformer wall right here. I haven't bought much Transformers uh, as of late. Just because, I mean, just the money. You know, it's just these days. I did recently pick up Retgar though, right there. <laughs> Can't see him too well, but uh, these these boxes right here are the only ones that are empty in this room. These are empty. Um, I just have them up there to get out of the way, and hopefully I'll get more books organized. These are more books that haven't been organized. A lot of this stuff down here is my Marvel Now Modern stuff. Um, all this though, guys, all of this is, is my sale inventory. Actually, that's my sale inventory as well. Sale inventory. So this is all stuff that's already for sale. As well as me grabbing uh, books out of my personal collection and, and downsizing, which is going to be happening over the next however many months. Uh, these are one of my prized possessions. Star Wars laser discs. I have the um they're a little dusty. 20th anniversaries, the remasters as well as the original ones from the 80s. Super freaking awesome. If you guys don't know the story, the first time I watched a Star Wars movie, uh we were having dinner at my uncle Jimmy's house who was the biggest Star Wars comic book geek ever he had my birthday he's 30 years older than me and uh he had his laser disc player while the, the adults were out there you know doing what adults did he popped it in for me and i watched it and ever since i was a star wars fan i had to be maybe four years old so i dedicate these to my uncle jimmy rest in peace that's why i will never get rid of those willie mccovey autograph portrait yeah, I know, it's not comics, it's baseball, but 
I have a whole bunch of baseball, basketball, and football cards right over here. <laughs> Look at all these. This isn't even all of them. These were in these were in my son's uh, closet, but he was like, "Dad, I want my closet space. Come get your stuff out of here." Here's some uh, some cards right here. We got Willie Mack, Hank Aaron, Lee May, Willie Mays, and Bobby Bonds. Some greats right there. Awesome stuff. Uh, right here on these shelves, this is all silver and bronze age uh, Marvel run starting with Avengers. Any of the, the legacy runs. Uh, and then, of course, it's alphabetized. My full uh, Black Panther, number one. I got number one in my key box. But I got the entire run of that. Uh, Captain Marvel, volume one. Champions. I have almost a full run of champions. Daredevil. Where's my Daredevil number two? That must be in my key box as well. Defenders, I have a really solid run of Defenders. So all of this stuff and all of these just are books that need to be organized. Hulk run. Iron Man. And again, all down there. I didn't talk about what was in here, so the way I organized this, and I've talked about this a few times, Second appearance of Hobgoblin. Couple issues. Uh, we got DC. And DC is organized by, you know, alphabetically, but pre New 52. Anything after New 52 is in its own boxes down there. You guys can't see them, but they're behind all these. And then all of my rebirth is over here. And you guys can see I'm just running out of space. So anything rebirth and after is over there. Um, same with Marvel. This is all this is all Marvel stuff. And it's alphabetized up until Marvel Now, which started in 2012. But what I started doing from my long boxes some years back was I started pulling my legacy runs, most of them anyways, and putting them over here. So Folks, you guys just witnessed the entire comic book room, the journals, comics, comic book cave. I would love to know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. I am uh, looking to get some more lights. Like these. I want to get some more of those up on my poster wall. That would be pretty sick. There it is, folks. 2022 comic book room tour. 25,000 plus comic books and yes many of them are for sale and many more are going to be for sale but I will never give up my passion for the hobby for comic books and for my channel thank you guys so so much for watching Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Be well. And until next time.